Hello everyone, so uh, today I want to talk about my spiritual path. This is my first official spiritual path update. And let me talk about the forces that I've been drawn to recently. And uh, really I've been drawn very much to Papa Legba. Papa Legba has drawn me close to him for some reason. I don't really know why. But of course Papa Legba is, the, uh, is a gatekeeper. Um, well, more than that. Really not only a gatekeeper between realms, but a gatekeeper within our own mind, within our own being. Uh, he kind of guards and has access to all the different areas of spiritual experience, but also different dimensions. Uh, and all of these doors exist within us. Now, Papa Legba is a, uh, is a Loa uh, in the uh, Voodoo tradition. And I'm a Vodal Saint, uh, which means, you know, I practice the, the Haitian version of uh, Voodoo. Uh, you usually call it Voodoo. And I have a lot of experience with uh, Veves, and I have a lot of uh, Papa Legba Veves. Though the first one that I ever created is the one that's still the most dear to my heart. And this is the first Papa Legba uh, Veve that I created. Um, of course, you see his cane there, and then a lot of the hallmarks of other Veves. But without getting too much into his personal Veve, um, I'd like to say that it's really strange being on a spiritual path that pulls you in different directions. Um, uh, Vodou is one of the three paths that I'm really dedicated to. You know, I'm, I'm also Astatuar, which means I am true to the Aesir, um, my, my Northern European ancestral gods. Uh, but I'm first and foremost a Hindu and a devotee of the Divine Mother Kalima. But uh, Astatru and uh, Vodou are kind of these systems that I've incorporated into my own Hindu practice. But, you know, as being Hindu, we don't really, you know, have certain definitions for what Hinduism is. We can add, you know, whatever ideas about consciousness, consciousness and spirits and gods from other traditions onto Hinduism uh, and still be Hindu because there is no, like, Ten Commandments or one book that you have to follow in order to be Hindu. But regardless, um, I'd like to recommend uh, this book, uh, Haitian Vodou. And uh, it is by, that's what it looks like. It is by Mambo Chitatan. And sh this is a really good book for uh, how kind of Vodou started in, in Haiti and all the history behind it, um, all the different political uh, revolutions and all the different leaders, uh, a lot of them very, very bad for Haiti, bad for everyone. And um, when we, when we, dedicate ourselves to studying the history of something, the history uh, of a path. Uh, we have to know that very history. We have to have that dedication before we really delve into the path itself, before we delve into, um, you know, initiating, initiating even ourselves or having somebody else initiate us. Or really, what I'm beginning at is starting working with magic in a path, you have to have some background for that magic. You have to have a canvas upon which that magic is going to be acted, upon which you're going to do that magic. Muen um, Loa, I serve the Loa, and the Loa are the, the spirits in the Vodou tradition. But um, I would also like to recommend another book, I'm trying to keep this short. Um, and this is one that I ordered recently and I haven't really read very much of, but uh, Haitian Voodoo. And uh, it is by Mambo uh, Ro Rocio. Rosio, Rosu, <laughs> something like that. Sorry, I'm not a I'm not a French speaker, but uh, it's Haitian voodoo, and then seventy spells, oils, mojos, incense, powders, and chants. Um, this is a book that I ordered recently, and just by skimming through it, I can see that there's a lot of good ingredient combinations and spells and charms and mojo bag, uh, you know, uh, ingredients that tells you how to make it and everything as well um, in this book. So I highly recommend that too. I think that it's going to be an interesting read. And I got the both of these off Amazon, and they're both pretty cheap. Um, but, you know, back to my own spiritual path update. I've been getting very close to Papa Legba in these last few days, uh, well, last several days actually, and I've been really focusing on him, trying to solidify my connection to uh, kind of the realms beyond this one, trying to have that gateway opened to where I can have more communication with that which is beyond. Ouvrir um, Baye, Papa Legba, is what I say. Open the gate, Papa Legba. Now, uh, I'm going to show you the video that I made, one of the videos that I made uh, last night, not, not tonight, but last night, 
of me making this uh, this very big veve for Papa Legba and kind of how I offered to it. And uh, I have it rolled up and um, and tied. And it's going to be a veve that is that is it's going to be very dear to my heart, but also one that I'm going to work with quite a bit. Uh, it's very big. It's on a it's on a piece of uh, Reeves BFK, which is very good for watercolor, which is what I use on it. And you know you'll see a lot of the ways that I offer to a veve, which a veve is a is a ritual. It's a ritual representation of a loa or spirits or you know a being. It is a ritual. Um, basically, it's like that being is looking through that veve into you or at you. So you have to respect it as if it was that spirit, that being, because that is the window that it's looking uh, at you through. So I will show you how I made that. Um, I offered rum to it. Uh, I, I spit rum upon it, which is uh, one of the things in Vodou. Um, I, I blew the Chandan powder that isn't usually used in uh, Vodou, but it's something that is, you know, a very uh, uplifting uh, spiritual powder. Uh, it can be made into incense. It is incense powder, but it's it's very good for offering that I found. Uh, I smoked a cigar and offered a cigar to it, offering it to Papa Legba through it. And um, I do a couple of other things that you'll see, but uh, I'll go ahead and share that video with you. And if you have any questions, comments, uh, or you just don't really understand any of it and you just want to say something about it, feel free to shoot it down in the comment section below. And um, after the after I show you that, it's just going to cut the video. So um, I really hope all of you enjoy this. And uh, feel free to uh, you know hit that like button down there if you thought any of this was interesting. But uh, thank you very much, and uh, here's the video that I want to show you.
ribeye.